Right now, Madisonians brave the frigid lake today for today's polar plunge. Hear from organizers on how much they've raised for Special Olympics Wisconsin. Also, model Porsche enthusiasts turned up for Madison's annual Pinewood Derby and Drive. We'll tell you more about the offerings. And later reaction from former President Donald Trump and New York Attorney General Letitia James, the ruling in the civil fraud case in New York. Welcome to News 3 Now at 6. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jalen Banks. We begin here in Madison where the driver involved in an early morning rollover on East Johnson Street was intoxicated. They say MPD officers were called to the crash near the 700 block of East Johnson Street around 319 a.m. An investigation found the SUV involved struck a curb and hit several parked vehicles before rolling over in the road. Traffic was closed for about an hour to remove the vehicle and debris. The investigation is ongoing. Well, the temps have been pretty chilly in the area as of late. With that, let's get a look at your first one forecast with meteorologist Alex Harrington. Yeah, Jalen feels chilly out there, relatively speaking, because we've been, well, I'm a Wisconsin. I grew up west of Madison. We've, we've been kind of spoiled, I think, lately. And with temperatures in the upper 20s right now out there, it feels like a shock to the system when we've been seeing these 40s or near 50 degree temperatures. And that wind today has been quite gusty. 28 in Madison, 30 in Lone Rock, and 30 in Janesville. Look at these wind speeds out there right now at 6 o'clock. Still 23 mile per hour wind speed right now in Janesville. 15 in Lone Rock, 20 in Mineral Point. Gusty at 16 mile per hour wind chills. And then this is what it means to your body. It feels like 18 right now in Madison. Doesn't feel like 28. Feels 10 degrees colder. Feels like 20 in Boscobel. 17 in Janesville. Look at down to the southwest in Dubuque. It feels like the single digits out there. So it feels like a winter night. Temperatures are going to slowly work their way through the 20s. But if you want mild weather, I think this forecast is for you. All those mild, warm, and wet details coming up. All right, Alex, thank you. Well, the colder temps worked out perfectly for those taking part in Madison's Polar Plunge today. Since 1999, Wisconsinites every year have taken the plunge, raising more than $20 million to date for Special Olympics. This year, over 900 people turned up to plunge. What's so meaningful about this event is the community coming together. You have over 900 plungers who all raised money to be here and jump in this icy water. The event today raised over $215,000. It's Wisconsin's third polar plunge so far this year, with events having already taken place in Wisconsin Rapids and Oshkosh this month. Special Olympics Wisconsin hopes to raise a million dollars across its nine scheduled plunges. Also happening today was the second annual Pinewood Derby and Drive event. It was hosted by Madison's championship Porsche racing team. There were both real life and simulated racing competitions for attendees to enter. Visitors could also tour the shop and enjoy plenty of other related activities. Attendees range from newcomers to his experience as one racer who brought his cars from 50 years ago back onto the track. I did. I built them in Cub Scouts Pinewood Derby and had competitions with these cars and they've been sitting on my shelf ever since. Had the opportunity to come out to Kelly Moss for their Pinewood Derby competition and thought I would bring out my vintage cars from way back when and was glad to have the uh, chance to run them down the track. The organizers also partner with the local Vagelin Girl Scouts to offer motorsport badge to scouts who completed a series of motorsports and stimulated challenges and activities. Former President Donald Trump is holding events Saturday, a day after a judge ruled on the penalties he will have to pay for inflating his assets to receive favorable loan terms. As CBS's Christian Benavides reports, the ruling also affects Trump's adult sons. That's the real deal. That's the Former real President deal. Donald Trump at a traveling sneaker show event, SneakerCon, in Philadelphia Saturday, unveiling his Never Surrender high tops. A day after a New York judge ruled he'd have to surrender hundreds of millions of dollars for conning banks into favorable loan terms by inflating his assets, including his Trump Tower penthouse and Mar-a-Lago, exaggerating its value by as much as 2,300 percent. It's a very sad day for, in my opinion, the country. 
A New York State judge just ruled, and he's crooked as you can get. Judge Arthur Ngoran ordered Trump to pay more than $354 million. The former president was also banned from running a business or applying for loans in New York for three years. His sons, Don Jr. and Eric, were each fined $4 million and banned for two years. New York's attorney general brought forward the civil lawsuit under a state law that allows her to prosecute fraud in business dealings. The scale and the scope of Donald Trump's fraud is staggering. And so too is his ego and his belief that the rules do not apply to him. This whole thing is very unfair. The judge said of Trump and the other defendants, their complete lack of remorse borders on pathological. On Trump himself, who took the stand two times, the judge said his refusal to answer questions directly, or in some cases at all, severely compromised his credibility. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, New York. The New York Attorney General's office says the penalties could grow to $450 million thanks to accumulating interest. Protesters gathered in front of the Russian embassy in Washington, D.C. on Friday to express their outrage and sadness over the death of Kremlin critic Alexei Navalny. Navalny fought against corruption and organized protests against Putin in Russia. He was serving a 19-year prison sentence when Russian officials said he fell ill on a walk and died something world leaders have pushed back on. Protesters held signs critical of Russian President Vladimir Putin, whom many blame for the Russian opposition leader's death. One protester spoke about Navalny, for him, then hope. For all these years, Alexei Navalny and his team, they've been trying to do everything what possible to defeat this regime, to give our people freedom, which they never had, in my opinion. The death of Navalny, a 47-year-old former lawyer, robs the disparate Russian opposition of its most prominent leader as Putin prepares for an election that would keep the former KGB spy in power until at least 2030. Firefighters in Sterling, Virginia said today a 500-gallon underground propane tank was leaking before a home exploded, leaving 10 firefighters injured and one firefighter dead last night. Loudoun County firefighters were called to the home shortly after 7.30 p.m. for reports of the smell of gas outside the home. When they arrived, firefighters found the underground pro propane tank with a leak on the side of the property. 45-year-old Traver Brown with the Sterling Volunteer Fire Department was killed in the explosion. Ten other firefighters were taken to area hospitals with injuries from minor to severe. Two civilians were also taken to a hospital for help and are expected to survive. Luckily, the two occupants of the home were removed by firefighters upon our arrival, as well as some of the pets. And we can credit our firefighters for the removal of those citizens. The fire chief added four firefighters remain in the hospital with various injuries and are all expected to survive. Coming up next, how much did sports books make from Super Bowl related betting? Find out in this week's On Consumer Report. The President's Day Weekend Mattress Marathon Blowout Sale is happening now at Ashley. Get the best mattress deals ever while they last. Save up to $1,100 on adjustable mattress sets, plus five-year special financing with no money down. Don't miss it. Only at Ashley. This is me, and this was my stubborn body fat. My name's Adrian, and Sonobello changed my life. Sonobello is America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. After having two kids, my body, it changed a lot. I tried everything to lose the fat, but nothing seemed to work. Sonobello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently on your stomach, back, chin, and more. I've seen such dramatic results. My tummy is gone, my double chin is gone, and my hourglass shape is back. This was the mommy makeover that I deserved. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-888-357-3263 or go to sonobello.com. A logo can do more than identify your company. It can connect in meaningful ways. 
energize your team, and inspire your customers. We're for Imprint, and we know your logo on the right product can create moments that matter. With 30 years of experience and thousands of products to choose from, we guarantee your order will be right the first time, on time, and for a great price. Be certain that the right moments will matter. Explore thousands of promotional products at 4imprint.com. For Imprint, for certain. Ashley's President's Day Weekend Blowout is Saturday through Monday. Get up to 10 Benjamins in savings without a single Washington down. Get this five-piece living room set for $19 a month, plus five-year special financing with low monthly payments. Only at Ashley. You're watching News 3 Now at 6, moving forward. Sportsbook scored during the Super Bowl. Christine Lazar has that story and news of more layoffs in this eye on Consumer Report. The tough times continue for tech workers. Cisco Systems is cutting 4,000 jobs globally. That's around 5% of its workforce. The internet networking company is anticipating less demand for its products this year. The move follows a series of layoffs at other big name tech companies. A report shows consumer prices rose 3.1% in January, more than economists expected. Car insurance surged nearly 21% from the previous year, and rent was up more than 6%. However, prices for gas and the fuel used to heat homes was down. Last Sunday's Super Bowl continues to break records. The Nevada Gaming Commission says more than $185 million was wagered on the big game, an all-time high. The 182 sports books that took those bets made around $7 million. And those are some of the week's top consumer stories. I'm Christine Lazar, CBS News, Los Angeles. Coming up next, just two weeks after devastating rainfall, California is set to get even more. What that means for residents. And Alex Harrington has another check of your first one forecast after the break. Constantly changing. And evolving. Gone within the blink of an eye. There's only one way to capture it. Discover the wonders of where an all-weather drive Lexus can take you. Available on 11 models. Get special offers on select Lexus RX models. It's replacement window season. Do you have ugly, hard to open, drafty windows? Now is the best time to buy new champion windows. Because when you buy two, you get two free. Buy two champion windows, get, get two, two free? free? I guess that means if you buy four, you get, you get four, four free. free. Buy six, get, get six, six free. free. Buy ten, get, get ten, ten free. free. Hurry, Champions Buy Two, Get Two free sale is for a limited time. Great job, everybody. Thanks. Thanks. Call 888-4-CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. There's no telling what's in store with Wisconsin Lottery Scratch Games. Paradise! In this $5 game, if the total for any one roll equals seven, you win the corresponding prize. You could also win double or five times the prize, up to $50,000. Instant scratch games from the Wisconsin Lottery. Odds are you'll like them. Everyone deserves a fulfilling job, but for people with disabilities, the barriers can be overwhelming. It's time to open the door to new possibilities. People with disabilities are getting the education, skills, and training needed to thrive in a wide variety of industries. And they're ready for an opportunity, a job, a career. Thinkability Wisconsin. All you have to do is start with yes. Join the movement at thinkabilitywi.org. This is Rhonda. She's a soul line dance instructor. And this is Rhonda's Good Feet story. I love dancing, but I had foot pain and hated the fact that I had to sit out a couple dances. But since visiting the Good Feet store and, and, and wearing the arts supports, I definitely have not felt the pain. I am able to dance longer, feel happier. My energy levels have increased. Once that energy gets into you and you're feeling good, double spins. <laughs> Get back out there with arch supports from the Good Feet store. You're watching News 3 Now at 6, moving forward. Parts of California have seen heavy rainfall in recent weeks, and there's more on the way. 
and people across SoCal are worried what this will mean for saturated hillsides. Elise Martinez reports from Rancho Palos Verdes, where recent storms have already caused so much damage. This Seaview neighborhood in Rancho Palos Verdes is without a water again after a water main break just down the road. They're already dealing with this broken water main that's above ground. They're leaving it above ground because the ground beneath it is still moving. Now, these residents here getting ready ahead of another atmospheric river moving in. In the last storm, Rancho Palos Verde is taking a big hit from mudslides to now moving hillsides. The city is fixing these broken pipes and cracks in the road. They're also using tarps to prevent more water from getting into the ground. There's concern about the already saturated ground shifting beneath them and homes sliding and moving. Moving. A resident that we spoke to said being without water is an inconvenience, but she's still not too worried about the next storm. Of course, you know, having lived here 53 years, I, I have gone through a lot of, um, you know, geological phenomena. I, I'm not worried about it. I, I'm really not concerned. Um, we do all the intelligent things. You know, we make sure that our roof is you know, secure. We, we've certainly had a, a tiny bit of cracking in our house, but we've, we've had it all 53 years. So that's why I don't become an alarmist under these circumstances. The historic Wayfarers Chapel has been shut down indefinitely because of ground movement in the area. Cracked windows and pavement are evidence that the ground is moving below it. More than 100 weddings and special events had to be canceled. And the L.A. County Fire Department wants anybody living in impacted areas to be prepared and to stay alert and to have at least three days of water, food and supplies in case anyone gets stuck. The rainfall California saw earlier this month equaled the amount the state typically gets in six months. Well, well on the other hand, do we have any precipitation coming up? Maybe? Well, to find out, let's get a look at your first one forecast with Alex Harrington. Yeah, I got the answer to that, Jalen. Not really. <laughs> not in this, at least not for the next seven days. But then things are going to change here. We'll talk about that momentarily. Breezy but milder on Sunday. These past couple days, I've said we're going to have two days of winter. Today is the day of winter where it feels like winter, but by Sunday, it's going to start to feel milder, then even milder by Tuesday and Wednesday. And you were mentioning precipitation, Jalen, staying dry through at least Tuesday. And things are going to start to change by the time we get into next weekend. Temperatures out there are where they should be for this time of year. Normal, right around 30 degrees. Normal is not a word. I've said too much in the weather department this winter. Looking at the rest of southern Wisconsin, we've got a 30 in Janesville, 30 in Camp Douglas, and a 27 right now in Platteville. Tracking overnight tonight, we'll wake up to temperatures around 23 in Madison, 25 in Boscobel, 26 to the north at Wa in Watoma up towards Green Lake and Marquette counties. A little bit warmer if we can have some clouds because that holds the heat in just a little bit at nighttime. Few clouds, but plenty of sun on your Sunday and a windy one as well with temperatures getting up to 37 in Madison. A little cooler to the east, a little warmer to the south and west where they get a little bit more in the way of sunshine. When you see all this red here out of the west, a strong breeze Sunday morning at 6, 30 miles per hour. If you're heading to church or going out towards brunch, it will be breezy during that time. But by the time we get to the end of the day, as those temperatures warm up, the wind gusts start to ease on down for a nice day. Nationally, we were talking about California. They're having all that heavy rainfall right now. In the temperature department, they're cooler because they're having all of that rainfall out there. Here in the center part of the country, though, as we march to the end of the month, going into the beginning of March, we're going to be looking at above normal temperatures. This is about as high of the chance of getting above normal as you can get, and Madison's right in that. And we see that in our high temperature trend, 51 by Wednesday. We cool down if you want to call 36 to 39. Normals are in the lower to middle 30s Friday and Saturday. We're going to be still a little bit above normal. And then boom, we go way above normal as we go out into the following work week. And that's going to be accompanied with green conditions. What does green mean? Green means better chances for above normal precipitation, meaning a wet pattern. 
developing. And I normally don't show this map here, but I have to because we still have drought conditions in the upper Midwest and even here in southern Wisconsin. Our friends in the Dells, Richland Center, Lone Rock, Viroqua, just south of Camp Douglas. Remember last year we had that drought from May clear through the end of the year? Well, it's still sticking around. Severe drought conditions. We need the water in our forecast and we've got it not early in the forecast, just slight chances Wednesday and Thursday, maybe a flurry on Friday with those warm temperatures and then a little cooler, just a little cooler next Saturday, Friday and Saturday. But behind me here, as we head out into the next week, Monday night going into Tuesday, the temperatures are really going to start to warm up. Those might be optimistically Warm, or I should say optimistically cool temperatures. There are some weather models indicating we could be approaching near 60 degrees. And with that as well, Jalen, turning wet next Tuesday, there could be enough warmth and moisture around for thunderstorms. Really? We'll be watching that. Thunderstorms at the end of February. Well, we just had thunderstorms a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah. We're going to keep an eye on that weather pattern too. Really, really warm weather pattern for much of the country. More moisture. Those are two ingredients for thunderstorms. So that's something the First Warn weather team wants you to know ahead of time, and we're going to be keeping an eye on it. And speaking of the First Warn, to keep up with all of that and yeah. more, you can download our First Warn weather app. Please do, yes. All right, well, sounds good. Thank you, Alex. You and still ahead, the Wisconsin woman look to take the season series from Minnesota next in sports with Andrew. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's network free for 30 days? Here we go. Yeah, I wonder if U.S. Cellular lets me stream in my... Rec room. Yep, it's working. Test drive U.S. Cellular's award-winning network free for 30 days. Another year of yo-yo dieting? Not this year. Hit reset and make a permanent change with permanent fat removal by Sonobello. With Sonobello, day one, all my unwanted body fat gone. These are my favorite pair of jeans that I couldn't even button up. Look how flat my stomach is. I couldn't believe like it was just gone. I saw the results immediately. And this is the best I have felt since I was in my 20s. Real women everywhere are transforming their bodies permanently. Sono Bello is not a fad diet or boot camp workout. It's a simple, proven way to remove stubborn body fat permanently and in just one visit. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. If you are looking for physical results and positive emotional results, please run, don't walk to your nearest Sono Bello. Ready to hit reset? Find out how you can save $250 off instantly. Call now or go to sonobello.com. My late father-in-law lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had AMD. I didn't know it then, but it can progress to GA, an advanced form of the disease. His struggle with vision loss from AMD made me want to help you see warning signs of GA, like straight lines that seem wavy, blurry or missing visual spots that make it hard to see faces, like this one, or trouble with low light that makes driving at night a real challenge. If you've been diagnosed with AMD and notice vision changes, don't wait. GA is irreversible. It's important to catch it early. Talk to your eye doctor about GA and learn more at gawon'twait.com. Today, we seize the day. Because at U.S. Cellular, you can get an epic Samsung Galaxy S24 with Galaxy AI. Even me? Look under your chair. That's right. Get the Samsung Galaxy S24 on us. U.S. Cellular. This small southern Wisconsin town found its identity through some of the biggest names in American history. There's no other city of presidents. See how Cuba City made a new name for itself as the City of Presidents, Monday at 6, moving forward. Wisconsin women's hockey has not lost a game in 71 days. The winners of 14 straight had a chance to make it 15 
and to take the season series over fifth-ranked Minnesota. This one was the Kirsten Sims show. She entered this game with the second most goals in the country and was as advertised. Scoreless in the second period and watch Sims deke and dangle her way through the Gophers defense and score the goal. It just looks too easy for the sophomore. And then later, Badgers leading 1-0. Casey O'Brien dishes to Sims, and you know what she's going to do. She's going up where Grandma hides the good stuff on the top shelf. For the goal, the sophomore hands Bucky a border battle win. 4 nothing is your final. The Badger men were in action, too, after losing a shocker to last place Ohio State yesterday. And they've got some work to do here. Badgers trail 2-0 in the second. But on the power play, wow, what a one-timer from Cruz Lucius to David Cilia. Watch this one once more. Badgers get on the board and cut the Buckeye lead in half. But this one would go in the favor of Ohio State. They'd add this goal here. And again, in a shocker, Wisconsin swept for the weekend by Ohio State. The NCAA Tournament Selection Committee announced their current March Madness bracket today. And despite losing four of their last five, Wisconsin snuck in as a four seed. The Badgers are three and six on the road this season and really needed a win in Iowa City today. 3.30 to go. Badgers are on a run. They'd scored seven straight to make it a two-point game. Iowa's Peyton Sanford misses the three. Chucky Hepburn on the rebound pushes ahead to Max Klesmet. And we've got a tie ball game on our hands. A 9-0. Wisconsin run and this game would need overtime 80 to 78 Wisconsin and OT and Tyler Wall scored the first four points of the period the bucket gave Bucky a four point advantage but in a big blow the senior would foul out tied at 86 21 seconds to go Max Klesman with a clean look at three but it's no good which gave Iowa one final chance Tony Perkins driving final seconds of the game and he gets the layup to go Hawks and the Badgers a brutal loss. Iowa wins it 88 to 86 is your final. And then diving into Division One's Boy State swimming at Waukesha South and the 200 yard medley relay. It's the team from Middleton getting it done. The boys go home with a first place finish and some history. They broke the state record in the event finishing with a time of 130 61 and in the 200 yard IM it's Middleton again and Sam Wolf again who was part of that same relay team doesn't give anybody a chance and dominates for the dub. It would help Middleton secure their second straight state title. As for Madison West in the 100 yard butterfly Abram Mueller comes in hot and finishes in the number one spot. A couple of heartbreakers today for Wisconsin, men's hockey, and men's basketball. Really tough ones. For sure. I, I will say, though, of all the names in all of UW sports, Cruz Lucius it's a good one. may be my favorite up until this point. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. His teammate, Matty D. St. Fowl, might have something to say okay. about that, but <laughs> they're kind of on the same kind of on the same level. D. St. Fowl, Cruz Lucius, Gouge Gouche Yeah, they're all right there. All Some really good the names. Place. <laughs> all right, Alex, we got... Uh, some little bit warmer weather on the way. Little bit, little bit tomorrow. Big bit right, by the right. time we get to Wednesday. Let's take a look at the 10 day forecast. Yeah, there's the little bit, 37 on Sunday. That's above normal by about oh, seven degrees or so. Then as we go to Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, we go into the 50s. We cool down, cool in quotes, Friday and Saturday. Back up into the 50s that next Monday going into Tuesday, looking at weather models. There's the possibility possibility with that weather system Monday going into Tuesday that we could be having some claps of thunder, some bolts of lightning. We'll be keeping an eye on that. So not really a winter looking forecast by any stretch of the imagination there. That looks more like a March spring-like forecast to me. I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, for, for Alex, this has been a fun time for you this year, all the weather that's going on. It's been a wild roller coaster. We'll right, see where we go. We'll, we'll see you guys back here at 10 o'clock. Let's make it a great evening.